A few years ago, home computers were all the rage. Every nine-year-old seemed to be getting one for Christmas. Then, like all crazes, home computers seem to die away. And we've come here today to find out what happened to the personal computer industry. Uh, Shankar, it's in the next hall. Oh. What went wrong? Well, basically, the personal computer revolution started without the personal computer. It was fueled largely by the public's insatiable demand for machines that go ping. Unfortunately, after we'd all bought them, of course, we discovered that's all they did. Some of them went pong as well, but by the time you'd finished chasing a few aliens around mazes and you'd stored the half dozen recipes you actually know in a database, I mean, there was nothing more to do with your personal computer other than use it to prop up a shaky table leg. Mm -hmm. There's another problem with the computer industry, is a lot of it is incredibly boring. I mean, take this. Look at that. And here's another. Look what happens when I do this. Exciting. So, Douglas, why are we here? Well, personal computers are at last beginning to become a lot more powerful. They're going to get more powerful yet, but we've got to the point where we can actually begin to do something useful and creative with them. something that you fundamentally couldn't do before. Up to uh, 16 units simultaneously on all 16 bit channels and will also allow you to record on 60 tracks and soft control. Using this, I can play whatever I like as slowly as I like, make whatever mistakes I like. The system can be synchronized to a videotape machine, audio tape machine, or motion picture soundtrack. At the moment, we've got bass and uh, some sort of organ sound, but I can make it do something really very, very silly, like this. Well, that's pretty silly. Douglas, what's the attraction of computer games? Well, looking around here, it seems to be simulation, isn't it? That's the big thing. I mean, that we've seen simulated motor safe motorbike riding, safe sex, even. Uh... Somebody's got a fighter pilot here. That's me. Oh, that's a good one. Douglas, a lot of computer software seems to involve taking over the universe in some way or another. Now, you've done a bit of galactic traveling yourself. Have you ever been overcome by the urge to take over the universe? No, I don't understand why people want to take over the universe all the time. What are you going to do with it when you've got it? I mean, shout at it, tell it what to do. I mean, is there a lot of unemployment in the universe? You're going to have to sort that out. I don't understand. Uh, is there anything you'd rather have in the universe? Yeah, Canada. I think it does destroy the planet or two. What, why is computing so violent? <laughs> I don't know. You, you seem to be enjoying yourself. You tell me. <laughs> Well, here I am inside the Acorn Archimedes computer, as you can see, into which I've been digitized. Uh, the Acorn Archimedes is currently the fastest microcomputer anywhere in the world. Uh, that's this week, of course. Who knows what will be the fastest next week? But uh, I must say, it's, it's very nice in here. I, I rather like it, actually. It's um, quite quiet. It's a lot quieter than it is out there. I think I'll stay put for a bit. Um, everyone send in a cup of tea.